lovely people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if you've never been here before, welcome. I am from Canada and I make beauty, vlog, lifestyle, videos. Yep, that's what I do. Also college videos, stay tuned for some back to school videos coming up in August. So today I decided I wanted to film the next video in my Ways to Love series because I've been vlogging a lot and I feel like I need to break some of them up. So for those of you who don't know what this series is, it is um, only has one video so far, but basically what it is is I take a palette that I'm really loving and I basically show you how I use it on my eyes. So you know kind of what you can get with the palette. I'm also thinking of doing some like two-in-one looks or like three-in-one palette looks. Um, like three looks, one palette. There's a YouTuber, I think her name's Everyday Heidi. I'll link her channel down below, but she does ones like that. I was thinking I might want to do those, so if you want to see that, uh, comment down below. But I will also leave the playlist for these other videos down below so you can go find whatever palette you're looking to buy, and I might have done a video on it. So today's palette is the Alamar Cosmetics um, Reina del Caribe palette. I got this in my BoxyCharm box. I don't know if I did an unboxing for this one. Oh my god, I can't remember. I don't think I did. But I have talked about this before, I think in my favorites video. I'm not 100% sure I'll figure it out. And I'll leave them up there for you to watch. But I love this palette and I've been wearing it a ton on my eyes. There's some really good everyday shades and some little bit more out there shades. So the look I am currently wearing, I'm not sure how well you guys can see... But the look that I am currently wearing is from this palette and it is what I'm going to show you. So if you want to figure out how you can use this palette on your eyes and it'll kind of give you a should I buy this, should I not buy this kind of idea, um, just keep watching. Great. So the first step to my makeup is normally priming my eyes, but right now I'm just not overly happy with how the concealer I was using was working for priming my eyes. So instead, I'm not going to use any primer today I know it's sacrilegious but I'm planning on going to the drugstore today to maybe find another actual eye primer instead of using my concealer so I have the palette right here I got this in my boxy charm I think I already will have talked about it in the um, opening of the video but this is what the palette looks like it has eight colors um, the top four are shimmers and the bottom four are mattes and I'm just going to show you my go-to look with this palette. I do use this palette in a couple of different ways that I'm going to talk about as I go. And if you want to see a tutorial on how else I use the palette, then let me know in the comments. But for now, this is how I use it every day that I wear it. And I do wear it a lot. I really like it. I can't see anything. So I just have my mirror here um, on the side so that I can see. So the first shade that I'm going to take is Coco Taxi right here and I'm just gonna take that with the fluffier brush that I have this is from Sephora and I'm gonna put it all over my lid so I'm just gonna put a layer of that all over the lid making sure to emphasize it in the crease and then do the same with the other eye And this makeup look is really easy because it's literally three colors and it takes like zero time. It's one of my go-to everyday looks, which I will be filming an everyday makeup routine. So once I take Coco Taxi and I put it all over the lids, as you can see, next I'm going to go in with the color next to it, Tropico. It's a reddish, burgundy-ish color. And I'm going to take that on the same brush and just emphasize it on the outer corner and drag it into the crease. Because we are going to take La Costa, which is the top glitter shade in the palette. It's like a pinky champagne color. And this is my favorite shade in the entire palette. It looks so beautiful. Even not wet. 
So what I'm going to do is take my thinner brush and I'm just going to pick it up on the brush and I'm going to pat it into the inner part of the lid and into the center. Yes, it just picks up so nicely. <laughs> I don't know why, but my left eye just participates so much better when I do these kind of things. Okay, so as you can see, this is what is going on so far, and it, there's a little bit of a gap between the shimmer shade and the redder shade. So what I'm going to do is go back in with the redder shade on the fluffy brush again and just blend those two together. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go back in with the um, first shade we used, Coco Taxi, on the smaller brush. I'm just going to drag it on my lower lash line. Halfway, about three quarters of the way to the inner corner. And then I'm going to go back in with La Costa on my finger and just really put it in the inner corner and drag it down a little bit underneath the eye. And there you have it. So I'm going to go put on some mascara and I will see you guys in a minute. Alright, so I am back. I added some mascara. Now I'm just going to put on a little bit of setting spray just to freshen up my face. Perfect. Whoa. It's now all over my glasses. Excuse me. Only people who wear glasses truly understand the struggle that is not being able to see and really having to pay to be able to see like how crazy is that okay so anyway um what i wanted to tell you about this look is that there are um some colors in this palette that are kind of out there <laughs> so the t bottom two shades here the dark blue and the green um veradero and celia they're really um not your everyday colors that you would wear all over the lid. At least I wouldn't. But what I do like to do is take them on a, I don't have it with me, but an angled liner brush. And they pick up so well. You can kind of see in this shade here how there's like some lines in there. And because I've used all four of these glitter shades as eyeliner. So you pick it up on the brush and you just put a line of a pop of color um, just on your lids with some more neutral shades. I really like to wear this palette like that also. So that is all for today's look. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to go and pick up this palette. I will leave it linked down below. I really, really like it. It is one of my everyday uses and it's just a great little palette and it has some awesome colors. Great if you love warm tones and there's some out there colors for you as well. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. rude don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and let me know if there are other palettes you want me to try out in this collection i wanted to film a color pop one today but can't find the palette go me anyway i hope you have a great rest of your day and thanks for watching